Here is my review of Masters of the Universe Origins Scareglow. Now this figure is a fantastic update of the original Scareglow from back in the 1980s. I believe it was 1986 or 1987 this figure was originally released in the original he man line, but this is in fact the Origins figure with increased articulation and much more. But this figure retains its classical glow-in-the-dark feature. Spooky. And the figure comes with his battle axe, which does not glow in the dark, but it does glow very brightly in backlight. But my backlight flashlight is somewhere in storage. The sculpting on this figure is very faithful to the vintage figure, as you can tell. The painting of it is very faithful as well. The texturing of the cape feels like it's made out of fabric, which is quite nice. And the articulation of the figure is quite nice as well. A ball joint at the head. The arm can go out this far, can go in this far, can go back that far, but you might risk in breaking this little piece on the cape. I don't know if that's impossible since this cape is a bit of a rubbery plastic. Arm can go that far until it hits the cape. The elbow can bend, the wrist can go in and out, can go full 360. 360 in the waist. The figure can kick that back far, can kick that, <laughs> can kick front, front that far, kick, kick and back that far, and um, can uh, do a yeah, slight van down split. Very nice. That's a small rotation in the calf. Has a small boot cut, in th if that's the correct way to describe it. The book can go down, can go up, can do a rotation. Knee joints can bend. And um, that's the articulation, articulation of this figure. In general, this figure is very faithful to the original Scare Glow and it's very, very bright in a very dark environment like in the night. I would like to show you that, but my room is currently right now not that bright. As you can tell, it is very bright. Even if I close all the windows and everything inside this room, it will be very, uh, well, dim when it comes to the light of this figure. Other than that, this figure is very, very nice. It's very colorful as well with the, um, this weird, like, ghostly lime green color. The bright neon axe. The purple cape. The, uh, best way to describe it. A purplish blue colored boots and waist piece built as well with its powerful red eyes. Ooh, spooky. In general, this figure is quite nice. Here he is with another figure I have in my collection Green Goddess. Or Eternian Goddess. Either way, quite a nice figure. Here he is with his master, Skator. And I believe another figure that came out around the same time of the original figure, Stinkor. So in fact, this figure does not stink that well, but it fits its purpose. In general, this figure is very faithful to the original Scareglow, and um, I do recommend it 
it also came with a mini comic. If I can uh, get it. Well, I'm trying to look for it. Here's another comparison with Orko. This arch nemesis in that new He Man show that's kind of. Yeah. Here it is. Double trouble. If you recall, the prototype was white. Tall on the picture of the back of the comic book, and also some promotional pictures of this figure showed him with a white um, uh, plastic. Other than that, that is my review for Origins Scareglow. I do recommend this figure, like I said before, for the many things. And um, yeah, that is all for this review. Like and subscribe.